deep in the heart of galaxy clusters, a new study reveals the light of stars that have separated off from their hosts. But what set these stars free from their hosts? Let's find out. When galaxies are close together, gravitational forces can push a few stars out of their hosts and into the space between them, leading to the separation of certain stars from their parent galaxies. The Hubble and James Webb telescopes are among the most powerful tools astronomers may employ to hunt for this ultra-dim light, which they call intracluster light. The mechanism by which this occurs remains a mystery. Does the cluster's gravity progressively pull stars away from their hosts? or a bunch of stars lost all in one go as clusters come together. A new study went one step further than previous studies by looking at 10 galaxy clusters. The results were published in the January 5th issue of Nature. Long exposure Hubble images show that there is light within each cluster for about 650,000 light years. The clusters are at different distances from Earth, which shows how old the universe was about a quarter to half as long ago as it is now. The study finds that the fraction of intracluster light across all clusters is almost the same. Therefore, it seems that the proportion has remained constant throughout cosmic history. This indicates that the majority of the wandering stars are not individually ripped from their galaxies as they travel through the cluster, but rather lost completely when clusters merge and galaxies are torn apart. Despite the fact that the ten clusters are spread out across a wide variety of ages in the universe, Subsequent investigation revealed that the clusters themselves are all completely mature. The researchers are aware of this, and they point out that, like most mature galaxy clusters, each of their clusters has a mass equivalent to 100 to 1,000 trillion suns worth of mass. According to the most accepted explanation, clusters are formed when smaller groupings of galaxies collide, and it is these mergers that rip apart galaxies and throw a portion of their stars into the void. Scientists are interested in using James Webb Space Telescope data to study the diffuse light in smaller groupings of galaxies, since these groups may eventually merge to form the clusters we observe now. In fact, new research confirms that Webb can investigate intracluster light. Using Webb's early release picture of the SMAX 723 Galaxy Cluster, the researchers were able to measure intracluster light to a distance of 1.5 million light years, which is twice as far as Hubble could previously see. In line with the previous study, the new study using Webb's data finds that the lost stars in the innermost regions probably came from a big merger. However, the researchers think that the wanderers in the outer regions are more likely to have come from gravitational interactions over a long period of time. Webb is scheduled to examine many protoclusters, and scientists are hopeful that this may help them recover some of the missing stars inside these immature clusters. Our future knowledge of cluster formation is about to be completely transformed by studies of intracluster light. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching and for your ongoing support to our channel. We hope you found this information on the study of intracluster light in galaxy clusters to be informative and interesting. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. We'd love to hear from you. And don't forget to share this video with your friends and family. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.